Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to fall day in Montana. As you can see on the mountains, we've got snow line that's starting to creep down. I have to work out of town next week, so this is going to be kind of a different video. This is my new to me 36 inch Blackstone griddle. I won this at a drawing at work and I got it for free. This is a $500 grill. So we have already ordered a cover, which you can see hanging over there. We have ordered the accessory kit, which comes with all the spatulas, the scrapers, the, um, the cover for, you know, if you want to do, uh, smash burgers and stuff. And then it comes with the, you know, those, but today we're going to do poor man, um, we're gonna do poor man uh, Philly cheesesteaks. So I've only cooked on this thing twice. It is seasoned, it's warming up right now. So we've seasoned it, we've you know done everything that they asked. I had to re-level the grill because my deck is sagging. I have sinking land, but. So we're gonna use 80-20 ground beef, uh, green, be green peppers and mushrooms, and some cheese whiz with some steak sauce for the meat. And, we're, and then we're also gonna cook the fries on the Blackstone. So we have um, two sections on high, and then I've got two sections on medium, so that I can kind of control the temp, because the fries are gonna obviously take a little bit longer than everything else is gonna do. So we'll get it up to temp, we'll let it warm up for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll throw the fries on and we'll get cooking. So we'll see you then. All right, so we're gonna try and start with the, I bought some Red Robin steak fries and we're gonna try and start with them on the Blackstone. So I've soaked them in some oil, but I'm also gonna put some oil down on the griddle just to make sure everything's covered. And then it's good and hot. So this thing's been running for like 15 minutes. So we got some oil down. That's what it is out. We'll get that stuff good and warm. Move this over to the cool side and then put our fries down. We're going to put everything on a single layer. We're just going to kind of let that cook. We'll let that cook for a couple minutes and then we'll get back to you and see how we go. The fries are gonna take the longest, so that's what's gonna happen. All right, so it's been a couple minutes. We've got the fries cooking. Uh, good thing with the 36 inch, we have four warming sections. I just cranked up the other two. So the fries are on two sections and then, so we're gonna start sweating down the uh, mushrooms and green peppers and then we'll start cooking the meat and then we're gonna warm up the cheese sauce in the pan. And like I said, this is, I found this recipe on YouTube. So this is a poor man's Philly cheese steak. Looks delicious and we'll find out, but let's get going on cooking. Like I said, the, fry, the fries are looking fantastic. Look at that. Get a quick stir. want to make sure they're cooked all the way through before we or almost all the way through before we start on everything else so all right see you in a few minutes all right so the the fries are almost done they need a couple more minutes we started the cheese sauce in the pan we put our uh, green peppers and mushrooms down to start sweating down and then we are starting our ground beef We'll let that get a little bit of a cook and then we'll season it and then flip everything and they like, hopefully everything is done at the same time. And then we'll toast a couple hoagie rolls and it'll just be delicious. So stay tuned. All right, so that's what everything looks like. Warmed up, here's the finished product. Looks absolutely delicious. We are gonna get the rest of this off the grill and then uh, get it clean, get out of here getting my dog out so we'll get the grill cleaned up and get it put away it's starting to rain so talk to you later you guys have a good weekend and i'll see you next week all right so just a quick update dinner was fantastic 
Um, got the grid all cleaned up and covered up for the week. I will be out of town for a week, so I don't know if there's going to be a video next week, and this one's kind of different. So just to follow up on, on what we had going on, like I said, everything was, it just turned out great. I love that Blackstone already. So we will talk to you guys later, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.